you might notice that you're uh, leaking uh, some amounts of urine while coughing, sneezing, laughing out aloud, jumping, uh, lifting up heavy weights or even while having sex. You might also recall that when it started, it started with leaking small amounts or a few drops but now you might have to change your underwears because of this. Well, you are not alone. Leaking small amounts of urine while exercising or while coughing or sneezing or even laughing aloud is called stress urinary incontinence or SUI. Today, I, Dr. Sudesh Nare, will talk about stress urinary incontinence, a bit embarrassing but a fairly common and an important topic. Who can be affected? SUI or stress urinary incontinence can affect both men and women but it's commonly seen in women because of some certain anatomical and physiological peculiarities. By the 30s, about 7 to 10 out of 100 women will have SUI. By the age of 60, about 1 out of 3 women will have symptoms of SUI. So why does this happen? This will need a little more concentration and a little more understanding. Uh, women have pelvic organs. So the pelvic organs are the uterus, the tubes, the ovaries, the water bag, the last part of the poop tube called the anal canal. These are all pelvic organs which sit on a very strong hammock of muscles called the pelvic floor muscles. Now these muscles when they get strained they lose their bouncing back ability and when they lose their bouncing back ability they fail to support the organs on them. Bladder being the thinnest is the most affected organ. So whenever there is an increased pressure from the top by sneezing, coughing or laughing the bladder hits the pelvic floor and because the pelvic floor cannot support it strongly it just leads its way and it leaks a small amount of urine. How can I prevent it? What? Core strengthening exercises. This helps a lot in strengthening the pelvic floor muscles. The earlier you start, the better it is. So start in your 20s. Two, during pregnancy, particularly focus on pelvic floor exercises. Three, control your cough or constipation at the earliest. Four, wear a pelvic support while exercising, jumping or jogging. Five, lose weight if you are overweight. Six, uh, empty your bladder regularly and do not overstretch it and prevents its early loss of elasticity. When do I need medical help? One, if the leak is so significant that it is affecting your travel plans, it is affecting your routine life or it's affecting your routine sexual life. Two, if it is uh, making you change your underwears frequently. Three, if it is so severe that you have to consider wearing adult diapers, especially during the episodes of coughing. The doctor might suggest uh, some specific physiotherapy called a biofeedback physiotherapy. The doctor might also suggest a simple procedure or a simple surgery called a tape insertion, uh, which actually strengthens the hammock of muscles and gives you significant relief from the leak. Uh, this is a simple procedure uh, which involves just a daycare admission in the hospital. However, it is reserved as a last resort and is usually done after uh, several tests and especially a test called urodynamics. Prevention is the best way. So if you can prevent it, it's always better because the symptoms will only worsen with age and with menopause. If you can't prevent it, at least uh, try to exercise, try, try, start, try to start exercising earlier so that you can prevent an aggravation of symptoms and completely avoid the need for any surgical approach. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.